Hey guys, what's up? It's Andy Fogarty from theathomewelder.com and I'm here for kingmetals.com. And today we're answering a question that we got from one of our at home welder community members. Now Joe wrote in and said, I'm having, having already taken some novice welding classes, I think puddle control isn't taught slow enough. It's very difficult to see how the puddle is manipulated while also watching the movement of the instructor's hand. I would love it if you guys could show a split screen video showing the puddle movement versus hand movement. Joe, that is a fantastic idea, and that is exactly what we're about to do. So Joe, it's your lucky day. We've put together this split screen showing hand movement versus how that uh, affects the puddle control of the weld. So let's get into it right now. All right, so as you can see while I'm doing this C-shaped pattern that there's just very minimal turning of my wrist. Very minimal. And with each turn, I'm actually pushing forward just a little bit, kind of inchworming my way up the bead. There you go, Joe, your split screen video as requested. I hope this gives you the detail that you were looking for. And you can see you really don't have to move your hand that much. It is very minimal what you're doing. And it also helps to use your second hand as a rest, to have that the crook of the, the MIG gun sitting right in between your, your thumb and your index finger. If you have requests like Joe did, uh, send them in. Ask us. We love getting your ideas and we want to answer the questions that you have most. So that's it. I'm Andy Fogarty. And if you want to join the at home welder community so you can get great tips and tricks like this and weekly updates on just things you need to know as a DIY welder, well, come over to the at home sign up, join it. It's completely free. And I look forward to meeting you. So that's it. I'm Andy Fogarty for kingmetals.com. And I'll see you again next time.